finally, the biggest progression skip that I could find anywhere belongs to the French player La Chatin. I don't even know how to begin with it. Oh, Alias, <laughs> you made a huge mistake. Because Jump to Dash is a 2D platformer game. The objective is play levels and more levels that get harder and harder. And eventually, you reach demons. A typical person would go for easy demons, then medium, hard, insane, and then extreme. But the people I'm about to talk about did not do that. Let's talk about the previous top 3 people that did the biggest skips in Jump to Dash. And then I'm gonna interview the person that is currently doing Jump to Dash's biggest skip. Starting in 3rd place with Oops Your Ash. An American Jump to Dash player that started playing GD recently in 2021. We played the game like normal and beat all the main GD levels. However, after beating Deadlocked, he decided to jump all the way to Bloodbath. And after two years of playing Bloodbath, and over 187,000 attempts later, In second place, we have Slovakian player Poltergast, who jumped from Bloodbath, coincidentally, all the way to Tartarus, from one of the easiest extreme demons all the way to the 34th hardest level in the game. After almost two years and over 268,000 attempts in the level, IT'S DONE! IT'S FUCKING DONE! And in the former first place, who alias crowned, it was French Jump Dash player Lasha 10. He played normally, and his previous hardest was Forsaken Neon, a level made by Zopro's rated hard demon. Now, what level do you think he went for as soon as he beat Forsaken Neon? Well. <laughs> It's the rupture. He jumped from a hard demon all the way to the 96th hardest level in the game with over 600,000 attempts. One of the highest in the game. Here's where Alias made a huge mistake. He didn't miss one, but two Geometry Dash players better than the former first place. Second place goes to a person called Liam, or known as Jamal Hibib Habab. Why kid you not, jump from deadlocked all the way to one of the top 10 hardest levels in the game, Slaughterhouse. I'm not joking. This person only had just over 100 subscribers on their channel. I accidentally found him while in the daily dose of Geometry Dash's Discord server VC. We friended each other and I later found out his Incredible mission. Let him explain. Hi, uh, my name is Liam, aka Jamal Habib Habab. I'm the second biggest jump currently in progress. I have 80 plus thousand attempts on Slaughterhouse, and uh, I'm doing deadlock to Slaughterhouse. So, actually, how many attempts exactly? Do you have like the exact number right now? Uh, counting right now, eighty-four thousand six hundred and twenty-nine. What's the highest percentage right now you have on Slaughterhouse? Uh, I have thirty-one, but I have like runs to fifty. Have you played any other levels like other than Slaughterhouse? Uh, I have verification progress on Old Crimson Planet, which I have forty-six on. I've played Kata a little. I played Bloodbath a little. I have like small amounts of progress on both. I I think in my opinion the Old Crimson the planet run is not as hard as people say and plus it wasn't on the real version so i don't think that'll count either way how do you even get the skill i mean a lot of the levels you play like if you spend a lot of attempts on levels it, it kind of builds up consistency when you play levels for example the way i learned some clicks in slaughterhouse is by specific decoration objects say you have like a grass part in slaughterhouse at like three to four percent and you know exactly when to hold. You can like skip a jump or two when like using that. Final question. How long have you spent on Slaughterhouse? I mean, I started like semi playing this. Like I never took this seriously until like late 2023, but I have been playing this since like 2022, since its release. And the biggest jump in Geometry Dash history goes to Herx, a Geometry Dash YouTuber with just over 5,000 subscribers. Jumping from Theory of Everything 2 to Tidal Wave, the hardest level in the game. How do you do that? I don't know, but genuinely it's a wild incredible mission he is on. Go subscribe to Liam and Hawks right now, they truly deserve it. And subscribe to me, it would mean a lot.